Okay, so I'm looking here and I can see I've got a lot of uh, layers in here. I've got layers for annotation, I got layers for floor. And one way we can filter this out is based on group, where I just pick and choose um, the layers that I want to have in my particular group. But another way to filter this out is I can actually create um, based on properties. So I'm going to right click in here in my, my layer filter. And remember, if you can't see layer filters, you can either use the little drop down in here or you can expand the, the dialog box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new properties filter. Now the way this works is anything you have in one line works as an and, and anything you have in a second line works as an or. So what I could do is come in here and say, well, I want anything that's blue. And notice that instantly I see just layers that are blue. But maybe I'd also like to see layers that are red. So now what I'm doing is I'm seeing layers that are blue or are red. And I can actually kind of expand on this a little bit. So maybe what I want is I want what's blue and has uh, TTLB. Well, I guess I got to put it after the star, right? So it's going to be TTLB star. And we can see that we filter it down because now it's got to be this and that, right? So I'm, I'm filtering it down based on both those properties. So if I was to take this out and come to the next line here and I was to go um, anno and go like that. Notice now I'm seeing any layer that's blue and also includes or or also includes um, anno. So we can come in here and we can quickly filter this out. So what I'm after here is I'm after any layer. Let's get rid of this. I'm after any layer that has wall in it, right? So we'll go like that. And we can see currently there's there's these these two layers. So I'm just going to stick with this and I'm going to call this my wall filter and I'm going to click OK and now we can see that the wall filter is filtered this out. Now what's really cool about these, these property filters is that they're live, they're, they're real time. So if I come in here and I create a new layer, well then I can come in here and we'll say that this is my wall. Right, so it's got wall in there. And notice when I click on the wall filter, notice that that layer is there. No updating, um, these things are live, they're never static, and they're always constantly updating. Same thing would happen if I came in here and created a new property filter because I wanted everything that was blue or was um, you know, white. So we can see the layers that it's, it's created in there. And again, if I come in here and I take this green equipment layer and we make it white, so it's now white, and I go back to my wall filter, notice that it's on, no, not my wall filter, my property filter here, we can see that that equipment layer has been added to the list. So just like that, we can, we can, we can have our properties, our property filters update. Now again, in my options, I do have it set so we can see that the, the filter is being applied to my layer dropdown as well. So again, extremely powerful, extremely easy to set up, um, and they're really dependent on, on the layers that you have. Now another powerful thing here is to notice that at the bottom here, I can actually invert the filter. So now instead of seeing the walls, I'm actually seeing the opposite. So this is a little toggle down at the bottom to, to switch back and forth between your, your invert or non-inverted filters.